Hi Virgo, thanks for checking out this video. So this is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and it's for the month of February. So this video will tell you generally what does February look like overall, what are your challenges, what are the vibes you're putting out there, give you kind of like a specific area of focus to work on through the month of February. We're gonna look at areas of career work and finance, your love life um, for singles and for couples. And then we're going to look at your personal growth and development. And then I'm going to give you a crystal of the month because those of you who don't follow me on like Facebook or Instagram or anything might not know, but I'm like obsessed with crystals. And um, I do really think they kind of help us get through the issues that we're working on every month. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Virgo. Okay. What does your February look like overall? And they're saying kind of the same old. <laughs> and that might make you feel a little bit hopeless, like things aren't changing and then you're kind of like defensive about it and you might just feel like, oh man, I'm just stuck in the same old bullshit as last year. But then they're like, okay, be real with yourself though. Like you're creating new bonds with people and you don't know where those are going to go and they're important. So in the month of February, actually, Virgo, and spoiler alert, your crystal might have something to do with love. Some of you might be making soulmate connections this month. So awesome. Now I'm wishing that my Virgo wasn't my rising sign, but my moon sign, because I would love to have a new soulmate. Um, but this is, you know, in terms of my rising sign, it's probably more likely to be a business partner. But awesome. I'd love a business partner. Somebody who's good at the stuff I'm not. <laughs> Okay, so um, generally, that's what it looks like overall, making important connections. So don't lose the faith that that's going to happen. Uh, vibes that you're putting out there are maybe more like related to your day-to-day -day life, like that you have good ideas and things like that, um, but that these ideas are going to take some time and patience and maybe a little bit of need to transform them before you put them into action. Now... These could be work-related or just kind of like your day-to-day -day routines kind of a thing. It says that there's not much choice in that you're going to have to amend them a little bit because it's not that your idea was bad. Don't chuck it. Don't throw it away. Just tweak it a little bit because um, you're on the right track. It's just not exactly right, okay? So your overall, um, oh, and they're like, and don't bitch and complain about it. <laughs> So your overall goal or something to focus on for the month of February before we get down to the um, real specific stuff is that you should be expecting a miracle. So expect a miracle. Expect that something awesome is going to come into your life. If you are expecting that, just like if any of you have seen, I don't know, I think it's on Amazon Prime. It used to be on Netflix. I don't know if it still is, but that the movie The Secret, to be honest, I always fall asleep. I've never been able to watch it the whole way through. I wish I would have been able to. But um, the whole concept of the law of attraction, you know, they say expect a check when you go to the mailbox. I did this for a while, and actually there was one day where I got three checks, and it was just, like, totally crazy. My son's school sent um, a tuition refund, and then two of my credit cards sent me money back. Or no, it was one credit card. They were like, oh, you overpaid this. I called because I was like, bitch, I don't overpay shit. And they were like, yeah, you did. And I got like $90 back. And then the other thing um, on that same day, it was like so magical because every time I went to the mailbox for like a week, I was like, expect a check, expect a check. So I wasn't getting bills. I was getting nothing until the day I got three checks. So that day, um, what was the other thing? Student loans. I had miraculously paid off one of my 50,000 student loans and um, and they were like, oh, yeah, because this is paid off, you know, here's $200 back because you paid $200 too much. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, right. But it was true. I called and I verified and I got to keep all that money. So in like one day, I got like $500. It was amazing. Anyway, so expect the check. Expect a miracle in whatever area. 
expect a promotion, expect that your soulmate's coming through, expect that you're going to meet the right person in regards to your business or whatever. They're like, expect it, be open to it. Because if you're not expecting it, you might not be totally open to it. And so if you're expressing gratitude in advance of when it occurs, then it's definitely going to occur, right? So just know that when you're connected to spirit, when you're expecting um, good things, when you're expressing gratitude in advance for things like that, you're going to feel a lot happier. You're going to be like vibrating a more loving energy, which brings even more blessings to you quicker. I want to give you an example for those of you who are maybe new to my channel or you don't follow me on Facebook. Let me see if I can find my gratitude journal. I think it's around here on my desk somewhere. That's something I need to do is expect that my fucking A. So it's not here on my desk and I'm a little lazy to run all the way over to the living room, but I will give you a personal example. There's this band called Rake, who I love. Um, it's like love songs in Spanish. <laughs> They're just the best. So um, last year, I w drove all the way to Milwaukee, which is like a six or seven hour drive, to see them in concert because they never come to Minneapolis. And so I was like, oh, this is my opportunity. So I go. It's like super fucking expensive. It's a big pain in the ass. And then I come home. And then... Maybe six months later, all of a sudden, surprise, we're doing a show in Minneapolis. So, of course, I'm going to go. So, I'm all excited, and I mark myself as going on Facebook. And then, because I did that on the event page, I got a notification that they were giving away meet and greet passes. So, I'm like, sweet. You know, you just have to, like, say, hey, I'm entering to win this. So, I do that. And then I go and I gratitude journal and I say, thank you. And if, if you don't believe me, you can go back and you can look at um, my Facebook post from like, I think it was somewhere in the fall, but it's there with the actual picture. Um, in advance on that day, I said, thank you that I'm going to win these meet and greet passes. Sure enough, I won. And then I got to go and like meet my favorite band and it was adorable. So anyway. Um, that's what I'm talking about here. It sounds like bullshit and it is bullshit if you don't believe it, but if you do believe it, those things do happen. They do work for you. So just keep that in mind as you go through the month of February, expect that miracles happen. They do happen and they will happen if you believe that they do. Okay. So, um, moving on to work, career, and finance. What does it look like for you overall in February Virgo? They're like, you might not have any like new exciting ideas and some of you might actually be leaving a job or um, you might be breaking contracts and things like that. And it's like, you know, while these things used to work out good for you, while you had pleasant experiences before, they're just not right anymore. And now you're in search of something that you're going to love more, okay? So some of you might be leaving your corporate job, starting your own business. Some of you might be just like moving from one position to another. Some of you might only be thinking about this, but the month of February is actually a really good time for you to do that. Now, those of you who are lacking confidence, this is your call, to expect the miracle, right? They're saying you have to be overtly confident. Um, you have to really express like this energy of, of course, these good things are coming to me. Of course, I'll be successful, even if you can't see how right away. Um, you have to very much have this um, uber confident kind of like Aries or Taurus, like I'm totally in control of things situation um, energy, even if you don't feel like you're in control of things, okay? Because if you're putting this kind of energy out there, people are going to believe it about you, right? If you walk into this interview, like I've got this job, like this job is mine, then how can the interviewer not say, you know what, this job is theirs? How could they not say that? But if you're coming in a little timid, like, oh, I don't know, they'd be like, mm, we want somebody like a little bit more assertive, a little bit more firm in this job, like somebody that we can trust, somebody that we believe in. You have to believe in yourself first, or at least fake it till you make it so that other people believe in you too, right? Okay, so that's what's going on in work and finance. Um, what are your challenges in regards to that? It's feeling the emotional balance, but also the passion for it. They're saying you have to, the challenge is to, um, 
know that people are going to look at you with success. So some of you probably have some fear here in making this shift, in making the change, saying like, oh, I'm afraid that people won't necessarily get on board with what I'm doing. And especially if you're taking like a more spiritual path. So for example, you want to start being a tarot card reader. Um, okay, well, are people going to look at that and say, oh, like, since when are you psychic? Since when do you have a spiritual connection that nobody else has? Um, fact is everybody has it, but <laughs> it's just whether or not you are in tune with it and you can express it. But the other thing is like, um, oh, okay, well, maybe tarot, tarot cards are evil. Like you must be a witch or something like that. Like you might be afraid of things like that, but you really have to know that other people are going to support you and they might even be jealous of you. They, but not in like an unhealthy way. Like, oh, I wish I had what they have kind of thing. Like not malicious, just like, wow, I'm really proud of this Virgo. Like they are so successful and they're doing a really great job. So it's saying this paranoia is totally unfounded. Let that go. And once you do, you'll see that things are moving and shifting and changing like really quickly for you in your life. Positive changes are just going to be like, boom, overnight. Like you could be one of those people who with the eight of wands, this is what it expresses is like overnight success. So let's say you make a music video, you put it on YouTube, boom, it goes viral the next day and you're the next Justin Bieber. It could be something like that. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be media related. Um, but you definitely in the area of career and work and finance have a miracle coming for you and it's going to come boom overnight. Maybe you invest invested in some sort of weird like cryptocurrency, like a Bitcoin or something. Boom, overnight millionaire. Could be something like that, okay? But in this career, work, life, finance sector of your life, something's going to shift and change so long as you believe it, as long as you expect that. So good for you. I'm so happy. Okay, so what kind of vibes are you going to be putting out there? Oh, so what I wanted to mention as far as um, the challenges with that is it's like you just might feel kind of like caught in a whirlwind, like things are happening so fast and it's a little bit scary, but go with the flow as best as you can. Okay, so vibes you're putting out there, um, you're maybe kind of keeping your ideas to yourself and that's not necessarily a bad thing because we don't want other people to steal them, um, but they're saying you might want to, you're going to have to, you're going to definitely have to be a little bit patient as you wait for this like overnight shift, waiting for it to occur. It might not literally be overnight. You might not watch this video and boom, something magical happens tomorrow. It might be a week or it might be three weeks or four weeks, but then boom, something happens. So you're going to have to be able to um, be patient, but then also um, remember, shift your, your, um, mindset to being very, very confident. If you don't, you're only fucking yourself over is basically what that says. They're saying, but really you have nothing to worry about. Like spirit is basically saying that in the month of February, you have a lot of blessings coming towards you and you have a lot of spiritual, um, and universal like backing and love and support coming your way. So the overall goal for you in regards to, or area of focus or affirmation in regards to work, finance, and career is to look at unfinished business. And so what they're saying is, you know, what's one thing, what's one like task that you could complete, that you could just like check off of your list. This might be a task with a person, a conversation that you've been avoiding that you don't wanna have. This could be like one um, work project that you're like, oh, it's such a pain in the ass, but you just feel so much better once it's done. So they're like, you know, what is this one thing that you need to bring closure to and just handle it? Like if you could identify that, what that one thing is that you keep putting off, that you keep putting off, that you keep putting off, if you could just check it off your list, all of a sudden everything's going to start flowing a lot better and you're going to start feeling um, just healthier and happier in general. Because as you take this thing that you keep procrastinating it and moving it to the next day, to the next day, to the next day, you start to beat yourself up over it like every day, like, oh, I'm failing because I didn't do this this day and I put it off this day and I put it off this day. So if you just handle it, you're going to feel much better. Okay, so that's work, career, finance. In regards to your love life, Virgo, what do I have for Virgo singles? 
not a whole lot of decisions that you have to make. You might have a little bit of fear and anxiety about what's next to come in your love life. You might have, feel like you're unlucky, like the circumstances just aren't right, that there's nobody around. So it's hard to really put a lot of emotion into finding the right person. You feel like maybe everybody around you that you meet is um, deceptive or they're a liar. Um, and so it's like, okay, do I really want to look for a partner or do I just kind of want to focus on myself? And they're saying, you know, um, you kind of know what you want, but you have trouble believing that the right person is out there for you. And so if you can really, really um, focus more on yourself and what you have to offer that is loving, then maybe you could find that vibrational match. Maybe that is the, the thing that this um, miracle that they're trying to bring you. Maybe it's maybe it is a soulmate. But what I'm getting is it's like you might not be talking to spirit so much about it because of your own fear and your own doubt. So the challenge for you in regards to your love life is to heal. It really is. It's to examine like all of the places that you've been hurt in the past, all of these things that disappointed you. Look at them one by one and then release them. Okay, say like so a meditation kind of thing that you could do is you just like close your eyes, imagine white light coming through you, and then dissolving all of these hurts and these fears. You can say, I now release this fear, I now release this pain, I now release this heartache, and I ask that you fill it with love and light, this, this space in your body um, where you might be feeling that kind of energy getting stuck. Okay, so what is the challenge aside from healing? And then they say once you've healed, the challenge is to manifest what you really want. Get super clear on what you want because if it's like when you call the order of pizza, you don't go, hi, pizza, click. You have to be specific about what kind of pizza you want. Because if you just call and say, hey, I want a pizza for delivery, and then um, you hang up, they might bring you cheese, but maybe you wanted a meat lover's pizza. But maybe they bring you a meat lover's pizza, but you're a vegan. You know, so you have to be very specific and clear on what it is that you actually desire in regards to a relationship and a partner. Okay, um, they might not bring you a pizza at all if you're not specific. Okay, so that's where you're at with that. Um, and then the vibes you're putting out to potential love matches is that you're patient, that you're waiting, that you're trying to figure out what it is that you want, but that you are ready to be passionate and have like this wild and fun adventure should you meet the right person. It's just like you're in this period of waiting, waiting to meet that person you just have a spark with. Okay, so I mean, that's good. So when you do meet the right person, they'll just know and, and you'll be getting it on and you'll be all freaky and it'll be fun. It'll be exciting. So for those of you who are coupled, in general, what does it look like for your love life? And they say, you know what, um, on the day-to-day -day life, like trying to keep your ducks in a row and like your partner's schedule versus your schedule, it might feel like a little bit fucked up, but that'll change and it'll change overnight. It'll change quickly. Um, what are your specific challenges? They're saying um, to find the passion, even though things are good in the relationship, emotionally, things are good. And it's hard to find the passion mostly because you're tired. So it, that might be something that you have to deal with where, you know, maybe your partner is like, hey, um, I, re I really miss having sex with you. Like, we're not doing it enough anymore. And like, you know, maybe this is how I physically, maybe physical touch is my love language and I really need that from you. And you'd be like, oh, but I'm really tired. And then they might take that personal, like thinking it's an excuse, but you actually are tired. So you have to find a way to communicate that. Um, because... What you're not seeing is that maybe your partner doesn't understand, but that's the actual truth. They don't understand it. So you have to make sure that they know that like because career and work and money and stuff like that might have been your focus. Maybe you're moving home. Maybe you have all of these like stresses in your day-to-day -day routine. It's not that you're being selfish. It's just that you're actually fucking tired. And it's not that you don't care about them. It's not that you aren't attracted to them. It's not that you're not into them. But they will feel that way if you don't tell them. Um, so basically what it's saying is you're going to have to find some time in February to just like really invest in your partner in one way, knowing that it's worth it. Like in a physical way, like, t like you could actually schedule this in your phone like an alarm clock, like you just pick like a random day, like February 15th. Oh, Valentine's Day for sure. But I'm going to say outside of Valentine's Day because they need it more than just Valentine's Day. Um, maybe pick like the 11th and the 22nd. You set an alarm in there. I'm going to spend, you know, an hour 
like physically, because it's really important. This energy is very physical, physically caring for my partner. I'm going to give my partner a back rub on the 11th from, you know, um, 9.15 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. And then, um, you know, I'm going to cuddle with them on the 22nd or whatever, whatever. But it's really important for your partner this month. It's super, super important because otherwise they're going to feel unloved and like you're not into them when you probably are. There's like nothing really fucked up with your relationship this month. Um, so what kind of vibes are you putting out? And it's like, you're just really concerned about a lot of your own things and you're not being selfish, but they might perceive it that way. And so then they think that you're lying, but really you're not. So just make that conscious effort because they're going to think that like, they're just really going to think that you don't care that you're just like with them because that's who you're with and you're comfortable with that. And then all of that passion and lust is gone. So, so anyway, if you love your partner, make sure that you do that. Okay, so your overall goal um, is using your wisdom. See how much purple is in here? So it's like a very third eye chakra kind of energy, but it's also with your personal power. So it's about your decisions. And so it's saying, dedicate yourself to the wisdom of what's going on in your relationship, like the truths that you've learned, like what you know about your partner, and then apply that to your life in some way, like using your knowledge of like your partner's reactions and like how they typically act and then use your own power to kind of manipulate that I'm not saying manipulate your partner but using your own foresight and like because of patterns based on the past like knowing how people are going to react to things and then use that to your advantage so that they feel really good and this is about action it's not about thought like put the thought intention there but then carry it through into your relationship now in regards to your personal growth or development for the month of February 2018, what's going on in general? And they're saying, um, in general, you're going to see a lot of outside success. People are going to recognize your own personal growth and development, whether that is, um, you know, things that you're doing at work that you're being rewarded for, or they're just like, wow, you know, you're really emotionally mature. You're a really great communicator or whatever. Um, they're saying there's not much you have to manifest with that. Like you've already done the work. So people are just going to start recognizing your own personal growth and development. They're going to um, commend you like, wow, you lost a lot of weight or, you know, whatever. So what are the challenges that you'll be facing? And they're saying to leave things that you like behind um, in search of something better. So, I mean, this could be something very simple, such as like, you know what, I love my coffee in the morning, but it's healthier for me to have tea. So even though I really love it and I'm having a hard time walking away from this coffee that I love, I'm going to make a conscious effort and try to be excited and get like behind drinking tea because of, you know, whatever benefits. Um, but it doesn't have to be that. It could be anything that you care about. Um, it could be walking away from a person that is maybe causing some pain in our life. We love them very much, but they bring our vibration down. They make us feel negative and sad or, you know, they call us names or they beat us up or whatever, you know, um, hopefully not physically, but hopefully not emotionally either. <laughs> anyway, um, it could be walking away from a person. It could be walking away from you know, like a food or a beverage. It could be walking away from a job, but it's walking away from something with the enthusiasm of something better, okay? And so this is huge for our personal development and growth, but it is not always easy. Um, what kind of vibes are you putting out in regards to your own personal development? You are your biggest critic, okay? Everybody else is looking at you and saying, you know what, you're doing a great job, but you're not doing that as often as you should. And while you're expressing gratitude and thankfulness for the things that are going right in your life, when somebody says, hey, you know what, you're doing an excellent job and we're really proud of you, um, and you say thank you, you're like, you know what, I'm not changing enough. I'm not growing fast enough. You're your biggest critic. And it's like you, you're this way because you don't, um, it's not that you don't love yourself enough. But you just always, you just always know that, okay, because you, as a Virgo, can be a little bit critical of other people, and it's not in a judgmental and harsh way, it's in a loving way. It's like, I want you to be your best version of yourself, because I love the best version of yourself. I see that in you, and I want you to have a good and happy life. Therefore, I'm trying to encourage you to express that side of yourself. It's not bitchy at all. 
it's um it's very like loving you know it's very parental in a way uh but but then when it comes to yourself you beat yourself up you're like oh i know i can do better i know i can do better i know i can do better and so they're like dude you're doing great everybody else sees it so if you could just like see that and chill that'd be cool that'd be great <laughs> that things are awesome you're going to Get all of these awesome blessings no matter what. We've already established that in the beginning of the reading. So don't, don't fucking fret. It's good. You're good. Especially in regards to um, like established routines and career and finance. Now, in regards to your specific goal for personal development, they're like, notice the subtle changes. Okay. So um, red is going to be your power color, actually. And it's about your um, root chakra because everything is built upon that. And you're all about building stable foundations, right? And so um, red is your power color, which other signs I didn't give them that, but but you get that. Red's your power color. And anyway, um, when you're wearing red, you're changing your vibrational frequency for people who are looking at you, you know, because we already know they're going to be like, bravo. <laughs> um, but, but also for yourself. And so, um, when you're wearing this red, you're more inclined to notice subtle changes that are happening in your life and subtle victories and then therefore to celebrate those. And I don't know, um, I'm going to look for that card here. Okay. So you're wearing red in this card that popped up multiple times where people are celebrating your successes. You're wearing red again here when you're going after the things that you want, that you desire. Um, where is that guy? There it is. Okay. Um, and then when you're walking away from things that you used to love in search of something better, you've got red feathers in your cap. Not one, but two. So you're enthused and you're wearing red again. Red is definitely your power color. You could wear red lipstick. You could wear a red outfit. Doesn't matter. But red is your drive a red car. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Red is your power color, okay? So when you're wearing this color, when you're surrounding yourself in this color, write in your gratitude journal with red pen, um, you're, going to dis you're going to be more cognizant of these subtle changes that are showing you that you are on your right path and you're going in the right direction and that these miracles we are expecting are going to come for us. And then any discomfort that we have, we can easily like kind of let that go because now we're feeling more enthusiastic and passionate about all of these things to come. Now, Virgo. Your crystal of the month is actually the same one that Gemini had. It is um, rose quartz. So this rose quartz specifically is the rose quartz that I pulled for um, Gemini and Virgo. If you're interested in this specific rose quartz, it's on my website, um, but no pressure to get it there. A lot of you probably already have rose quartz. You could go get it from your local shop. You could order it online from somebody else. I don't know. doesn't matter. But anyway, um, this crystal... Rose Quartz is all about love and harmony and releasing stress, okay? Now, um, this Rose Quartz, if now, if you're one of those people who when you saw that um, Two of Cups card right in the beginning, like a soulmate could come through, or um, you could create like a, like a good business partnership that you're going to manifest that into your life, this positive miracle surrounding love or partnership, um, then you're going to want to make sure that you get your mitts on one of these because that's what this is known for. It's called, it's the universal stone of love. It helps us to attract in love and it helps us to create peace and harmony. And you know what? I use this stone, um, constantly for my kids because I have a tween daughter who let's be real. We know how those act. And then a little brother who adores her, who she wants nothing to do with. So, um, I make them crystal grids all the time so that they can get along better. And actually yesterday she helped him without, with his homework and said, good job, buddy. And I didn't even have to pay her. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, anyway, so rose quartz is, is your stone of the month. You can look more into it online if you want to. Um, so if you, Get this stone from me. There, you'll get also an email with all of the um, all of the like links that Patreon subscribers get, showing you multiple different ways you could use the crystal. I think two of those videos, because um, older Patreon videos do get released on my YouTube channel, are in a playlist called um, Crystals or something, or How to Use Your Crystals. So um, a few of those videos are there for ideas if you already have your own or anything like that. And then um, also you'll get like a printout that says like which angels are related to this one, how to care for your crystal, and then like the different uh, 
physical body things that it'll do for you, how to use it, and then also um, in general, like the kind of energies that it expresses and how to cleanse it and care for it, blah, blah, blah. Um, but you can find all of that online as well, I, I assume, if you have your own. So love and light. Um, get yourself a rose quartz crystal if you have like a local shop nearby or something like that, because it'll definitely help you, especially in loving yourself instead of criticizing yourself and to bring in that miracle a little bit quicker. Yay, Virgos. I'm so excited. Okay, love and light. And oh, I'll see you for your love videos um, as February progresses. Bye.